It's a very special day in Australian music chart history as In Excess, the very best album, has solidified an astounding nine-year run or 468 non-consecutive weeks in the ARIA Top 100 Albums chart. And it's all thanks to the band's incredible string of timeless hits. You want to make I am joined now by In Excess music icon and drummer John Farris. G'day, John. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> hey, this is amazing. Huge congratulations to you and the band. Can you even get your head around a milestone like that? Um, well, when you present it like that, actually it hadn't really occurred to me when all that stuff was stacked together. So, um, no, I'm actually sort of a bit gobsmacked just watching that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your music continues to stand the test of time. It reaches multiple generations of music lovers right around the world. What, what did you have? What, what, what's the secret to these songs? I think um, a genuine love for what we were doing and um, we were just blessed and realised we were blessed to um, be, have the fortune uh, and the, the means to do it. You know, I mean, we worked very hard. It was, there was no doubt there. But uh, along the way, any obstacle was met with um, a happy face and, and a great attitude. So that just served as well. And, and we're just very grateful, very blessed. Are you going to get a chance to celebrate this particular milestone? Can you can you get together? Um, well, look, uh, in these very testing times, you know, getting together is is a whole new uh, meaning, and um, <laughs> the spiritual side of life has certainly crept up um, and, and means a lot to me more than ever now. And I think for people who are being separated and have been separated through all this lockdown stuff. Um, forces one to, to, you know, look elsewhere for guidance and, and uh, how to be together with someone you can't be with. So I think uh, a lot of our uh, connection it will never be lost uh, for those living and those have passed. And, and, um, and that's, that's the attitude I think we, we, all, we all have about that. I, th I think you're right. You, you spoke of those past. Tragically, you lost your longtime manager, Chris Murphy, earlier this year. What do you wish you could say to him on a on a day like today? Well, you know, I almost talk to him every day anyway. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, and I think, look, I think he would just be so proud. I, I just have to say thanks for everything and, and all uh, believing in us and um, letting us do what we did best, which was the music and the creativity and, and thinking of all the ways we want to express ourselves. And he encouraged us to do that and we just said you just go off and do the business side and uh do let us know from time to time what you're up to um <laughs> <laughs> we want to say thanks to chris for everything and um his daughter stevie has taken over the uh, record company petrol uh with long time um uh you know uh partner of chris is sam evans and so together uh they've picked up um and carried on for us yeah. Hey, you had another reason to celebrate. Last week was your, can I say it, 60th <laughs> birthday? <laughs> yeah. Would, um, would 16-year-old John have ever believed you'd still be making music history? Well, I, I, you know, it's an abstract question. Um, clearly, yes, I guess. Uh, I, I always believed we could do whatever we wanted to do if we just put our mind to it. And uh, I think... Um, it shouldn't be surprising, however it is, it's surprising that I'm 60, let alone um, in, in, the, in the charts. But I mean, I'm just amazed that I lived this long to begin with, considering the, uh, the amount of partying and, and the life I lived. But I've never been healthier. I feel great. And um, I'm just blessed. I'm, I'm to, be, to be, you know, to be honest, I'm the youngest guy in an excess, so that's, that says something. <laughs> Yeah, your brothers will appreciate you saying that, no doubt, for starters. Yeah, he's a bit younger these days. Huh? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> what, have, um, what have you and the band got planned for the rest of 2021? Well, there's lots of stuff in the background. I mean, even though we're not touring and we're not, you know, travelling around performing, you know, there's a lot going on. It, there's a lot of interest with uh, theatrical stuff. I mean, Chris was... Um, you know, looking around and, and meeting up with different producers and directors to to get a theatrical thing going, and that's still definitely uh, going ahead. Um, and there's lots of other projects. Um, 
I'm actually doing a lot of writing at the moment, so I'm just about to release a song on my own, so that's very exciting. That is great. And the musical is going to be the story of In Excess or a different story using the songs of In Excess? Well, that's what we're in the, in the process of figuring out, um, uh, you know, whether we do a literal sort of narrative with about In Excess. Um, we're, not, we're not so sure about that. We're, we're thinking maybe some kind of parallel story that the music can sort of weave through it somehow or um, we're not really sure. It really comes down to the synopsis, the, the types of um, submissions that, that directors and producers might have and we weigh them all up and basically um, you know, we, we'll just choose from that. Wow. Well, lots of exciting stuff to look forward to. But meantime, a huge congratulations from all of us on the big milestone for the band and the big milestone for you. Thank you so much, and it's great to see you again, Angela. Yeah, you too. And I, everybody out there, thanks for everybody uh, who's supported in excess all these years. I mean, that's what made it happen for us. I also want to shout out to everyone who's doing a bit rough right now. It's pretty tough uh, with lockdowns and these things. I just want to say heart goes out to everybody. Uh, keep strong and uh, vigilant and just make the right decisions that best suit you. So true. Great to chat to you, John. We'll talk again soon. Thanks for having us.